I love disc brakes and I know lots of you do as well. And in my experience, using disc brakes on road, gravel and mountain bikes for many, many years, they require very little maintenance. One of the real beauties of a hydraulic disc brake. But there are some common issues that I know lots of you might be plagued with from time to time. I'm talking rotor rub, squealing brakes and mushy, spongy brake levers. But I've got some really simple, quick hacks to get your brakes working as new. So let's dive in. My favorite hack by far solves mushy or spongy brake levers. When a system has been freshly bled, the levers are lovely and firm and they feel fantastic. But over time, if the bike's hanging up in a rack, they can get a bit mushy and a bit spongy. They are open systems so air can get in. But the fix is really simple. All you need is either a strap like this, or my favorite is some electrical tape. And all you do is wrap the tape around the handlebar and the brake lever, pull to the handlebar, wrap it around like that, and leave that for a few hours or ideally overnight. And when you come to the bike the next day, pull the tape off and hey presto, that brake lever is lovely and firm. So a real simple, easy hack. Anybody can do that, a bit of electrical tape. And uh, Bob's your uncle, that's an easy fix. Rubbing brakes when it happens is really annoying and does happen from time to time. And there are several reasons why it might be happening to you. I've got several quick fixes to get your brakes running nice and sweetly. We'll start with the most simple, and that is centering the caliper around the rotor. So all you need is a tool, in this case, a T25. You loosen the two bolts holding the caliper to the fork or the rear stays, loosen that, and then spin the wheel, pull the brake lever, and tighten the caliper bolts up again. And in many cases, that will recenter the caliper and the pads around the rotor and solve that issue. Sometimes you might have to do a harder reset of the pistons and the pads in the caliper, especially if you have the wheels in and out of the bike for traveling and you accidentally pull the brake lever and the piston come out. So in this case, you take the wheel out and you can either do it with the pads in or out. Ideally, you take the pads out and move the pistons back into the caliper, but you can, if you're very, very careful, using something like a tool here, push it in between the pads very, very carefully and just lever the pads open to push the pistons back into the caliper. Then once you've done that, you put the wheel back into the frame, do up the through axle, pump the brake lever a few times and then spin the wheel, hold the brake lever, do up the caliper bolts, and that, in many cases, in my experience, will solve any rubbing issues. If those two methods don't work for you though, and your brakes are still rubbing, it might be because you have a bent rotor. This is quite common because the rotors are very thin. It doesn't take much to bend them out of alignment, especially if you're traveling in the back of a car or whatever it might be. But the fix is very simple. You don't need a special tool, you can do it, with an adjustable wrench like that, or you can get a special tool which is worth investing in, like this one from Park Tool, and you basically have two slots for putting on the rotor like that. And the idea is to isolate the bend in the rotor and then bend it carefully back so it's straight. So firstly, you need to isolate the bend in the rotor. And you do this by having the bike in the work stand. You don't need to have a work stand, but it does help. Then slowly rotate the wheel and watching the rotor through the pads from the top, look for the wave of the rotor as it goes through the pads. And you see it rubs on one side of the caliper, either the driver side or the non-driver side. Once you've found a bit of rotor out of alignment, bring it around so you can access it. Use your tool and then very, very carefully, don't use too much force here, bend the rotor in a direction to straighten it. Don't use a lot of force because you can make it worse and that's something you definitely don't want to do. And then check your hand in work and see if that has improved matters. You might have to do it a few times, but better do it carefully and slowly rather than bend it too much and make it even worse and go in the other direction. So it does require a bit of care and attention, but it's not a really tricky job and something, once you know how to do it, it's a good trick to have up your sleeve. The third and final complaint from people using disc brakes is noise. Squealing, screeching, screaming, whatever it is, the noise a disc brake makes can be really annoying. 
but thankfully there are some easy fixes. The cause of noisy disc brakes can be many things, but usually it's contamination from stuff you don't want on your disc brakes, like oil and other grime. This can be from washing your bike if you're not careful, or from riding in bad weather and rain and oil from the road from motor cars get washed, sprayed onto disc brakes, and that can cause noise. The first port of call is to make sure your disc brakes are nice and clean and get rid of any oil or residue that might be on them and causing that noise. And a cleaner like this one here from Muckle for disc brake cleaner, but loads of bike brands make this stuff or you can buy an isopro alcohol from Amazon, eBay or hardware store, which does the same thing. This just comes in nice packaging and you've got a handy nozzle on there for directing it at your disc brakes and not the rest of the bike. So using this stuff is fairly straightforward. Always follow the instructions, of course, give it a good shake and then spray it over the whole disc brake system. Not the entire bike, just your disc brakes. So the rotor and the pads and the caliper. Then leave it to evaporate and then use a dry cloth to wipe off the excess. And that, in my experience, in many, many cases, gets rid of the noise straight away. Another potential cause of noisy disc brakes can be the pads are glazed over. This happens from time to time, especially after hard use. Now you can't inspect them on the bike so easily, but taking the pads out is fairly easy. Got a circlip and a small Allen key there, so whip the pads out and have a look. And if the surface is shiny, that means they are glazed over. But the fix, the hack, is really simple. Get some really fine sandpaper or wet and dry and lightly take off that top surface until they go matte and that has reset your pads back to a brand new state of use. So put the pads back in, put the pin back in, and that, along with clean rotors, should give you a nice, quiet disc brake setup. Right, there we are then. Some very simple, easy hacks you can use to keep your disc brakes working as well as they should, all without having to bleed your disc brakes as well. If you've got your own hacks and solutions for fixing disc brakes, then let me know by leaving a comment down below. And if you want to see some more uh, workshop how-to videos, then check the playlist right here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button right here. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all again very soon.